Ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty huge breaking Black Ops 6 news coming at you now in this video by yours truly, the Ghost of Eight. So happy that you're here. If you're new here, you gotta do one thing before we go any further. Are you an alpha male? Are you a stud muffin? Then you've already subscribed. But if you haven't subscribed, you're telling me that you know what? Hey, I'm a loser. You know what you gotta do? You gotta hit that subscribe button, and now you will be an amazing elite gaming stud muffin athlete, 360 the blind, no scope in the push push, being a stud, being the king, rise to the top, Mount Olympus, lightning bolts, raining death down upon your enemies, you will rise, you will be the winner, you will be the champion, now let's get into this most amazing Black Ops 6 Call of Duty informational video. All right, what's up, my fellow elite gaming alpha males out there? A little gaming news for this video. Nothing really happening with the Trump situation. The Republican National Convention's going on, but nothing exciting has happened yet. So yeah, a little gaming news here. A little Black Ops 6 Call of Duty news for all you elite gaming stub muffin out there. So Activision, it sort of seems like it's gone, right? We all know that Microsoft, Phil Spencer, the people over there in Seattle, Washington, bought up Activision and all their games and all of Call of Duty and it seems already that Microsoft is making Call of Duty better for everyone. Today, just about an hour ago or so, the open beta, all information was brought out, was released, and it looks awesome for everybody. The biggest point of this whole video and the biggest point of why Microsoft is making Call of Duty better already is the open beta is available for everyone. It's not platform specific for early access. Everyone gets to play the beta, whether it be on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, everybody is gonna have access to the beta and be able to play it at the same time instead of having designated weekends for the PlayStation first and then next week it's open for everybody and then after that it's open to PC bullshit. Nope, it's for everybody and the dates are early access which if you buy the game, pre-order the game, early access for everybody on all platforms is August 30th to September 4th. And then the open beta for everybody who didn't pre-order the game, and that again is for every platform, but now it's open to everybody if you didn't pre-order it or not, just to make that clear, September 6th through September 9th. And this is awesome because I like to play on PC and I don't want to have to buy it or try to get around with some nonsense pre-ordering it and then canceling it on the PlayStation so that I can get access to the early weekends ahead of everybody else because on this channel, we do everything. We do politics. We do aliens. We do fucking everything, bro. We're like the Joe Rogan podcast, except I'm not five foot six. I'm six foot six. I am bald though, but whatever. I digress. The point is I like playing on PC and all you out there now, whether whatever console you play on or whether you play on PC, everybody gets to play together at the same time and no bullshit console exclusive nonsense. And like I said, Microsoft is making Call of Duty better already, which is that simple fact. I mean, I don't know the last time, if ever, except maybe at the very, very beginning, 17 years ago, have we ever had no console exclusive nonsense, which also would be great because going forward, there's not going to be any console exclusive DLC, console exclusive maps or anything. Everything is all together. We're like as if we're some kind of hippie commune of Call of Duty athletes. Hashtag no homo. Some more cool stuff here if we actually get back on point is that if you have Xbox Game Pass, you get Call of Duty Black Ops 6 for free. As well, if you have Game Pass, you will be able to play the open beta or the actual exclusive pre-access beta. So you don't have to buy the game is what I'm trying to say if you have Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, you qualify for early access beta. How awesome is that? Like that's fantastic. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna get the Game Pass on PC so I can just don't have to buy this game. I mean, I hear a lot of people out here in the Call of Duty community crying like, I'm not buying this piece of shit game. Meanwhile, everyone's buying it. It's Black Ops 6, it's Treyarch. They've had a full cycle for the first time and I don't know how long to make a Call of Duty. You can hate Call of Duty all you want. You can try to make the hate videos to try to trick your stupid audience to try to, you know, watch your videos. We're not doing that. We're being sincere. This game's gonna be awesome. In fact, I like Modern Warfare 3, so I'm not even hating on Call of Duty anymore. I, I can't do it. I gotta be real, keep it steel and pack this something weather and watching out for the judge. It may or may not have a grudge. I'm looking forward to this game. I imagine it'll be a great game. It'll be a lot of fun. It should be. There's obviously issues, skill based matchmaking, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting tired of beating that dead horse. That's never going away. So I'm also either get over it or stop talking about it because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So complaining and crying about skill based matchmaking ain't going to make you have anything different outcome anyway whatsoever because they don't give a shit. They're not listening to us. So move on. Stop crying about it. If you watch YouTubers who keep crying about skill based matchmaking, you can just basically tell them that they're just shills, idiots, not even have nothing to talk about, have no content 
content to make and they're just trying to beat a dead horse and milk their stupid fan base into watching their videos which are basically made on bullshit so hey man that's the video that's all i've got to say microsoft is making call of duty great already just like trump is trying to make america great make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe thank you very much for watching i'm out peace